It has been really windy out here in Cape Town and I wonder which way the wind is going in New Lands. Hello and welcome to another episode of Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund Presents The Outside View. Didi, you're a pro gift. Use a stencil like this or make a cookie cutter. Pro? No, bro. A real pro is a pro investing, which can give you flexibility, balance and long-term returns. Introducing Pro Investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. And it's the day of the big final. South Africa are going to take on Australia in the final of the ICC Women's T20 World Cup 2023. So teams had their final set of preparations. Australia opted to train. South Africa had to opt out because they had that accelerating semi-final against England. So what happened at the Australian? It almost all of them were there. In the end, Meg Lanning and Ellis Perry were taking turns to strike and having a hard go at the ball. So what's the significance of the final? You don't need an extra context when it comes to finals. But South Africa have already made history by becoming the first side from South Africa to make it to the final of the ICC World Cup. Captain Sunelis and coach Hilton Mooring talked about the significance of the event of making it to the final already. And, and Sunelis even went on to say this is time to get invested in women's cricket. So what about the crowds? When I reached the stadium, the queue was so long I had to walk and see how long it was. So when I returned, it was already sold out and even some of the disappointed fans were still hanging around. So it's going to be a great atmosphere at Newlands. So all the preparations have been done, the crowd is in. So what else now? Semi-final win against England was all about the place battery of South Africa. They had Madison Cup, they had Shabnam Ismail, they had Ayabonga Kaka all doing their thing. Even the young Nadine de Klaak put in a great performance. At the other end of the spectrum, it's about the batting might of Australia. We know they were a bit iffy in the semi-final, but we know how they can perform at big stages. Be it Alisa Hilly who has been struggling for a while. She has been struggling for in the last two years. Whereas Beth Mooney has been a machine. Mag Lanning has returned and looked the best she ever has been. Elise Perry seems to be enjoying everything about T20 I know. Then there is Grace Harris, Ash Gardner. So it's a long batting lineup South Africa will have to go through if they have to win the Can Madison Cup inspire South Africa to a famous win? Or will Elisa Healy shake off her indifferent form and come to the party in big finals? Let's see. So whom are you rooting for, South Africa or Australia? This is Shajinama signing off from Cape Town. Stay tuned to Women's Quick Zone for all the updates from Women's Quick